All right, guys, today, after a long last, I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. Today, we're gonna be talking about my January and potentially my February pocket dump. Now, I'm gonna be trying to switch it up and not do like EDC updates as much as just monthly pocket dumps and hopefully make these videos a little bit shorter and more of just a quick rundown list on what I'm carrying for the month. All right, so first we're gonna start off with tech. Now tech has kind of changed and kind of stayed the same, but what we're running for things that have stayed the same is still the same Series 5 Apple Watch, and I am planning on getting this replaced, but I haven't quite decided if I wanna go with like the Apple Watch Ultra or not. But anyways, still a Series 5, still just fine. And of course I got my Apple AirPod Pros, and yeah, they work just fine, and yeah. Not too much to say on that. Now, as far as now, as far as the phone goes, it is it has changed. It used to be an Apple uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. It is now an Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you can see, as you can see, my puppy is the wallpaper. But yeah, and it is in a OtterBox Defender in a controversial berry potion color i honestly thought this berry potion color was going to be a lot more red but it is a lot more pink than i was hoping for however that is currently what it is in so it's an otterbox defender and that's really all i care about um, just really the protection of the phone and of course the phone for those who don't know it is in the blue colorway so anyways then lastly we have the truck keys for the toyota tundra that i drive around of course the auto start all of that's pretty typical it is on this really cool um, black ember quick release lanyard and i've been really liking this lanyard because i will attach this half so essentially this half to like my pants around a belt loop or on a backpack strap or something like that and then because this is a quick release you can just pop this off and then take this you know put your key in the ignition and go but what i really like is how easy this thing is to use so it's like partly magnetic and it has this little hook system that locks into this little piece of metal right here obviously it's not like a weight bearing qd mount but it is for edc really convenient and it does it's pretty sturdy like it's not going to like slide around or slide off like you can turn it any which way you can even you know push it back and if you push it back hard enough you can get it to release but overall it's pretty sturdy and the magnets work pretty well about the only thing i don't like about this magnetic release is it is pretty magnetic to things around it or like i have this little doohickey on here and it will kind of stick to that so a little inconvenient at times but for sure it's nice to have the quick release um, option and then like i said i really like this black amber because it's just so easy like you don't even have to look at it to get it to attach uh, it's just super easy to attach it back to its um, kind of lanyard area so anyways that is the truck key setup like i said there is a night eyes doohickey on here with the keys so yeah all right next up is going to be what i consider just general edc tools and just like daily living essentials so these aren't quite knives guns or multi-tools but just really handy stuff that i carry every day so first off we have the lighter. This is, of course, my really old Zippo, just classic satin lighter. It's what I carry every day. I mean, it's just something simple and easy. And I carry it primarily for fire starting. So yeah, that guy's with me pretty much every day. Really hasn't changed much ever. Next to that, I am running a titanium pry bar. And this is one that's just like a generic Amazon brand or not Amazon brand, but got off of Amazon. It's like a Chinese made. Um, titanium pry bar and I was just getting it because I do plan to get like a Lynch Northwest all access pass but I've been really liking some of these other designs that are out there like on eBay and Amazon and like really this one is pretty cool because you have a good amount of jimping for like your bottle opener and then you have some really nice jimping for actually using this as a pry bar so you can lock in with this little bit of jimping or lock in with this little bit of jimping. So I really like how practical this tool is. And uh, yeah, it does have a pretty nice, a pretty handy pocket clip. I'd say like the only thing I wish that was changed on this is get rid of this uh, kind of like lanyard hole and move this pocket clip up there so that it rides a little bit higher. But as it stands, you can still get into the traction here and here the pocket clip is pretty minimal. So really do like it. It's like, it's like a no name kind of generic Chinese pry bar, but uh, titanium pry bar, but it does work really effectively then of course we have the phoenix ld30 now some people might say like why am i not running my previous or 
I got another Phoenix, I think it's like the E35, I can't quite remember at the moment, but that one was giving me a lot of trouble because its actuator was the side click and it didn't have a back click on it. And while it was more powerful in output than the LD30, what I was finding is it was accidentally going off a lot in my pocket, even with its locked mode. So I occasionally carry it, but most of the time I've kind of gone back to the LD30. I am planning on trying out some Nightcore and potentially Olight products because they have some pretty high output EDC flashlights, but I'm just not a huge fan of the Phoenix, the other Phoenix that I got to replace this one. This one just feels more usable on the daily. <clears throat> Then lastly, and, or not quite lastly, but next up is, and this is what's been honestly holding back this EDC update, is these smooth precision pens. This is the V2.1. In fact, I think they've already made a V2.2. This thing took like three weeks to get to me. I originally got it in the beginning of December and then it shipped on December 22nd and I didn't end up getting it until like January 11th. So this guy took forever to get here for me, but it was what I really wanted to include in this EDC update and been waiting for it. And so like I said, this is the Smooth Precision Pens and formerly they were the ultimate survival gear, if I remember correctly. Um, I have a brass pen from these guys, but I really wanted to upgrade to the newest product they had. So that was this guy. And honestly, I will say it was worth the wait. I wasn't super happy to wait like three weeks for it, but it is super smooth. Like it's hard to show in this video just how smooth this action is, but the, uh, the makers of this pen really did a excellent job at refining this. Um, pen action. I know it sounds really silly, but honestly, it's like addicting to use because it's just so clean. There's no grit in the action and it is just like the smoothest bolt action pen you will literally ever use. And there's some really nice jimping up here. Um, it's kind of hard to show in this lighting, but this is, there's some jimping and texturing up there that helps you. But yeah, and then not to mention, of course, because this is a titanium pen, it is ridiculously lightweight. And yeah, this does have a Pilot. I think it's just a Pilot G2 in it at the moment. I believe it is an ultra fine tip, so it is super fine. But uh, yeah, really, really nice to write with and incredibly lightweight, incredibly smooth action. I really do love it. So. Anyways, I was waiting for that to make this update because I wanted to include that in my January EDC and I was hoping to have it in the first week of December, but or the first week of January, but it just didn't quite work out. Anyways, the wallet, I can't remember if this was in my last EDC update or not, but this is a open seas leather and this is a top sider, but it's what they call their top sider quick draw. So essentially what the top sider quick draw is, is just a top sider with this extra uh, leather panel back here, as you can see, and then it's cut with a little slit to allow you to have cards back here. Now, in fairness, I only have two cards back here and you really, if you have your wallet like to normal capacity, you can't really fit a whole lot in this wallet um, or in this back portion here. But what I do is I keep my two IDs, like my student ID, my driver license. I keep my, my two IDs back here and um, I just find that like nice. So if I need to quickly like pull out my ID for whatever reason, um, I have those back there. But aside from that, it is just a standard, you know, uh, top sider. And I personally really like the top siders. I think they carry a decent amount of gear in the, or I think they carry a decent amount in them. You can put cash, you can put like hunting licenses, cards, uh, just about everything that I personally need on a daily basis for, you know, like different life things can fit in this top sider. So I really like it as a platform. I just like that addition that there's just that little bit of extra leather, you know, to allow you to carry just a few more cards. And once again, it is a quick draw. So if you need to grab them quickly, you don't have to dig through all the other cards that are already in the wallet. So that is the leather wallet. All right, now we're gonna talk about the part where probably everyone wants to see is the knives. And so I've broken this down as like the most carried knives for the month. And so essentially what we're sitting at is the Leatherman Charge Plus in G10 and the Earth colorway or tone or whatever you wanna call it. And this guy's basically my go-to, has been my go-to for like two years. It's a great um, multi-tool. I really can't complain about it. Honestly, this like strikes every box for me as far as multi-tools go. Then 
honestly, for the most part, I've been carrying this Emerson Minicom, but today I wanted to spice it up because I have so much kind of gunmetal gray titanium. I was like, I wanna throw this guy in my pocket for the knife of the day. So technically today I'm running the uh, CRK Sebenza, large Sebenza with micarta inlays. But for the most part, like honestly, for the past like month, I've been running this Emerson Minicom and uh, this guy's just been great. I love it. I got it back in November and I've really been carrying it quite a bit just because I honestly really like the um, Minicom. Like I love the recurve. I'm a big fan of the Commander as a whole and uh, it's just such a pocketable knife for me because it is a uh, three and a quarter inch blade and you know really decent size for me I feel it's very pocketable and very carryable but also still has a totally usable blade so that is what's been seeing the most carry time for me it just happens today I'm carrying the large Sebenza 21 so anyways that is full transparency um, that is what I'm carrying today but I do usually carry the Minicom and then of course as my fixed blade I have the Half Face Blades Extremis Mark 1 this is a special limited edition in S45 VN with the black and red handles but still really cool blade love to carry it I don't always rock fixed blades it's just usually the fixed blade that I will throw with me if I'm wanting to carry a fixed blade for that day. And lastly, we have the firearm setup. Now this hasn't changed too much since the last time I did an update. And uh, I've been honestly carrying the Glock 19 customized um, with this T-Rex sidecar for honestly the past few EDCs. And it's really just because I love my Glocks. I love EDCing them and carrying them. They're fun. I will say, um, I believe in the last EDC update, I was carrying my FN 509C and I do carry the FN 509C as well as this, but predominantly for like in just a general purpose EDC gun, I'll usually grab the Glock 19 just because I like one, this setup as a whole, but two, I feel like the Glock 19 for me and my lifestyle is just a really hard gun to go wrong with. And uh, like for general purpose, just it's it works for me. Now, like I said, I do have the FN 509C tactical uh, that I will run like if I'm working out or if I'm doing more like trail running and stuff like that, um, where weight is more of a consideration and like the size of the handgun overall. If I'm wanting something that doesn't print as much, then I'll drop down to the FN 509C. But most of the time, you know, like I'm wearing just normal cargo pants and this system buries, hides really great. And so I have no complaints about it. Um, this is the handgun, of course, in question. And of course it does have a Trigicon RMR, as you guys can see there. And uh, yeah, so that's the setup there. And of course it is rocking a spare 19 round magazine from my Glock 19X. So that is the setup. Like I said, it's really well-rounded, super hard to go wrong with. And honestly, these sidecars are really comfortable to carry appendix with. So yeah, that's why it's been seeing so much time and carry. But yeah, so that is basically the roundup, or that is basically what I've been carrying as far as pocket check goes, uh, slash not so pocket check. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to go over these. Like I said, hopefully I'm gonna try to make these videos quicker, shorter, and um, a little bit more concise than like a pure EDC update. Anyways, last thing up is the energy drink of the day. That is a Mountain Dew cherry lime lift these are like a cherry limeade from mountain dew super tasty if you haven't checked them out or if you like energy drinks i would definitely recommend this one i know energy drinks aren't everyone's cup of tea but i like them usually anyways guys as always god bless and i'm out